St. Mary's College, Biz Ed 123 Financial Management, uh, Team 6, Take 5, and Action. Hi, uh, I'm Dylan Chris Morris. This is Camille and this is Gabe. Um, we're going to give you our stock valuation of JP Morgan Chase. Um, start off, we recommend that you buy based on our financial analysis. I'm going to pass it to Camille, who's going to go over the overview and background of JP. Yeah, so SWOT analysis is uh, as the same that happens in, in other groups. Uh, we're top uh, bank in the U.S. and globally. So um, next, I'm going to pass it off to Gabe. Go over, uh, yeah, just to name a few of their products and services. Um, <coughs> J.P. Morgan offers payroll, insurance help, merchant services, wealth management. And as for the checking and savings, you get you know, get a checking account, credit card, credit options, travel, and even you can use them. Leads us to the operations and revenue contributions. As you can see, their net interest income just takes over roughly half of their whole, I guess, revenue pool. Uh, another big contributor is the asset management, administration, and commissions sector. And we have a small section of security gains, which is only about two. model, we use a 
have them because we thought that it was more appropriate than the wax. And as you can see, if you look through the years until 2020, um, we completed with a terminal value of approximately $111. And based on the capital, our intrinsic value is 81, which is above the current price of 77. Okay, going into our uh, perpetuity model, um, using our cap M model, our risk free rate, uh, we determined to be 2.17. The beta was given at 1.2, and uh, um, we calculated our expected rate of returns at 7.5 and cost of equity at 8.5. Um, we decided to go with the 9% return on equity, which uh, showed an intrinsic value of $80 that's greater than uh, the current cap of 77. Um, using the same cap M model, going into our Gordon growth. Um, we decided that um, the 9% and 1% were the most ideal um, in our calculations and that intrinsically brought us to a value of $90. Using the multiple approach, um, our evaluation, in, our, uh, the multiples in comparison to other banks such as uh, Goldman Sachs and Wells Fargo, the multiples were from in between 11 to all the way to 15. Um, our range was between 11 and 13, and we decided that the best would be, for our PE ratio, would be uh, 12 at a value of 86, which is greater than 77. And for our weighted, we put more weight into the DCF and multiple models, um, comparison to Gordon Growth and Perpetuity. Um, so overall, it came to an attribute value of $91, so we recommend um, buying forwards, buying futures, buying calls on futures and write puts. Also, with our ETFs, buy on margin, buy calls and write puts. And uh, with stock trades, we recommend to buy 